Hey everyone, hope all of you are doing great. So this is where we left in the last video. In the last video, we have encrypted the password before we are storing into our database. So if you haven't watched, I'll link in the i button in the description so you guys can follow that. So this is where we left exactly, okay? So we have this sign up method in which user can come and create an account, okay? So now we have to do a lot of things here. So let's open up your terminal. And now we have to install one package, npm ij json wb token. We have to install this package. So let me install this one, JSON web token. We have to install this and here we have, okay. So if we have this package and this package is really powerful. Don't need to worry. I'm going to make a detailed video on this package that how you can use this powerful package to work on the authentication. Okay. So here I'm going to use a DAX straight away, but I'm going to explain all the thing as we going to build this authentication process. Okay. So generally how this JWP token work. Okay. So when a user will create an account and hit a request to the database we're going to send a re we're going to send a response and that response will have a jwp token okay and that token is a unique identifier but to the particular user and that token will contain a couple of information it will contain the information the id of the user and it will have the secret key which we're going to create right now and that's going to be the unique identifier for that particular user okay i know this sounds abstract to all of you guys but everything will come make sense okay so don't need to worry i will make a brief tutorial about this jwp token that how it's work and it is a very powerful tech packages and most of the application which is built right now all those are you could use those jwp token okay and the same rest architecture okay so don't be confused just follow along with me everything will make sense so here we have and now we have to create the token so here you can see we have this new user we are creating and now we have to create the token for the user so they can log into the application okay so we need to import the package which we have installed so we're going to install we'll say jwt okay this is how you do it and it's called jwp token so this is the package we have and now we have to so now what i want that user are creating account so after the creating account i want them to straight away to log into the application okay and this is the behavior you have found in most of the application okay so when you create account you get log into okay so that's the same functionality we're going to create here and for that we have to generate the token for that user so they can log in okay so let's create the token we'll say const token and here we're going to call this function jwt okay here we have this sign method okay so again don't need to worry the method i'm using just use as it is because they have a brief documentation on this package which i definitely cover in the next to next video okay i'll get a time then i will definitely make a brief tutorial on this because this package is really huge okay so we are using a sign method because we the user is created okay and we have to create the token so in that we have to pass the id okay and the id we have inside this new user that's the exact model and in the mongos you can see we have this id get generated by dash id okay so we have this model when the user will get create account we have all the data in that and we'll have this data as well id as well okay so we have the id and here we have to provide the secret key okay and you might be thinking from where we get this secret key okay we're going to define into our dot env file okay here we have to provide the doctor secret key let's come back here go back to the dot env file and here we are keeping all the sensitive data for our api and here we're going to define that secret key and generally how this work is that whenever any token will create it for any user so it will take the id of that user and it will take the secret key and on the base of that it will create the payload okay everything will make sense just follow along with me okay so here i'm going to define my secret key so here we'll define jwp jwt secret and make sure you type your own string okay make sure to provide at least 32 characters okay because most of the tutorial i have found out there they use less okay so the longer the string you have the better it get encrypted okay so again i'm telling you don't use this same text which i'm using here that can create a problem make sure to use your own okay it, you can type anything literally anything okay so i'll type nft marketplace project api development course and subscribe if you haven't done so far okay so this is the longest string which is above 32 characters okay so make sure at least take 32 characters you can type anything what you want if you love someone you can type her name a couple of time <laughs> and that's the secret key we have here and that's what we're going to use it here okay so here we have the process dot n and that we have access all the environment variable and we'll simply paste this jwt secret key okay Make sure to save it and now we have to create the expiry date okay because 
in most of the application you have found that once you get logged in and you will log in for a couple of days okay so you you can define the expiry date of the token so when the user will get logged into the application a token will generate it so you want that the token should be valid for how many days you can define that it as well it could be hour it could be minute it could be a day it could be a year okay so that the expiry date we can define here so i'll say wp expiry in okay so i'm going for with 50 days okay and that's how you can define you can define 10 like this 10 hours and five minutes five seconds you can do like many things like it okay so i'll simply copy that and here i'm going to define in the form of object okay so take this object and it will say expiry in process dot in and that's it okay so this is the token we have generated for the user we have taken the id we are defining the process our jwp secret key and we are sending the expiry date as well okay so this token will contain all this information okay simply copy and paste here so we can see how the token would look like and if i save it and now if i try to create account you will see that what we'll get in output so let me change this email id and if i hit the request and boom here you can see this is the unique token which is generated for this particular user and we're going to utilize this token to check whether the user is logging or whether he has access to certain information or not okay so we have this token simply copy this and let me show you what we have here okay so we have this token here we have the id we have the you can see this is how we got the access of the id because we have this id in the user and it's get generated by the mongoose and the password has is also working fine things are looking pretty good now let's refresh it you can see we have the user which we have created and it's stored in the database that looks pretty good now let's come here our jwp token is already get generated based on the information we have provided okay so that looks pretty good now what we can do simply grab this entire one and open up your hmm, browser and let's try to decode this token which we have generated for the user okay because you guys have to know that what information it took okay so uh, you can see we come to this i will type simply jwt decoder okay hit enter and this is the first website which is a popular one you can simply click on this and here we have landed on their website and you can see this is how the string would look like okay so here they have given the example this is the token and here you have uh, the information like decoded information so you have the header you have the payload and you have the secret signature okay so we're going to simply remove it and we're going to paste it our own okay and boom here you can see we got the information from this token okay so here we have the information about the expiry okay so this is iat means when you have generated this token the time of that generation and we have the expiry time which we have set 50 days okay so that's the token we have here okay. so let me remove this because right now it will say unverified if you remove this and this is the coded one we got it and if i scroll down you can see the signature is validated okay and here you can see we got all the information so right now you can't able to find this verification secret because that's we have it scripted okay that's we are not displaying here okay it's an encrypted one okay this is the scripted this is the header which is created by the mongoose and this is the payload id and you can see this is the exact id you will find you will find for the user okay so this is the decoded data we have so that's how we can generate the token which keep the information about the user on the base of the id and it has a couple of data okay so you will find that they can easily able to see the id they can easily able to see the a like creating an expiry date but they can't have the access of the payload of the of the signature secret key and the data we have defined okay so hope that makes sense to all of you guys and that looks pretty good to me so that's the token we are sending so that's the only thing i want to cover hope you guys have found this video valuable if you have still any confusion any doubt do leave in the comment section and do let me know because we have to understand these things because these are the very important things to understand because we're going to add a lot of functionality into this payment configuration email so you have to understand that the basic label because we're going to add more advanced thing to this okay so with that said let's move to the next video and that we're going to create the logging router